Baby, we ain't got no eggs. What you mean we ain't got no eggs? Didn't I tell you to go to Walmart two days ago? Baby, I was not going to go to Walmart. You know Walmart is Rona Central. I don't care about nobody named no Rona. You got to worry about your kids. Be a man. Take care of your responsibilities. So, did you use the last of your eggs before Easter weekend came around? Well, if you like me, I know you don't want to go to Walmart where it is Rona Central. So, I have some life hacks for you for surviving Easter weekend with no eggs, but you can still bring the joy of Easter to your kids. So yeah, I know the kids they like the Easter bunny and the eggs, but what sense does that make anyway? What do eggs have to do with Jesus? Did the disciples bring eggs to Jesus? Were there bunny rabbits hopping around that little manger? No. So if you're going to make up a story, make it up to your advantage. So kids, last year the Easter bunny brought you eggs. This year he's bringing you potatoes. Next year he'll probably bring you vegetables so you can make a potato salad. So eggless households who don't want to go to Walmart, here's all you need. A sack of potatoes. Just get you a sack of potatoes. After all, they're in the same shape as an egg. All you gotta do is take this bad boy out. And same way you take a hard boiled egg and paint it, just take your potatoes and paint them. And then hide them all around the place. If you ain't got a backyard, hide them around the house under the couch, under the bed, in the bathtub, wherever you want. The kids will still have fun and you can paint them, put faces on them, write words on them, whatever you want to do, just like it's an Easter egg. So a sack of potato, it's going to do the job. But maybe you just like me, and you just like to be practical. So if you're going to do something with the Easter bunny bringing gifts during a time of exile, why don't you just have your Easter basket filled with edible goodness? That's right, kids. You don't want to starve. And just like Santa Claus brings you presents at Christmas, the Easter Bunny is bringing you food during this quarantine. That's right, parents. So instead of doing an Easter egg hunt, just create Easter baskets for your kids. Just take things out of the pantry that they're going to be eating anyways. What you say? You ain't got no baskets? That's right, honey. Your kid's dumb to the dumb 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 anyways. Use whatever you can find. If it's an empty box, use the box as an Easter basket. But it's okay, honey. If you gotta be ghetto, just use an old Walmart bag. Or if you'd prefer, just go ahead and hide all your goodies around the house or the yard and have the kids go and search for their lunch. What's that, baby? You find yourself some chili? Ooh, that's gonna be a good lunch. Ooh, sweetie pie, what did you find? Some coconut water? Oh, I'm sure that's gonna be refreshing. Ooh, baby, what did you get? Some tuna? Oh, that's gonna make a great sandwich. Oh, honey, what did you find? <gasps> Some brownie mix? Ooh, we can save that one for dinner. Point being, don't worry about no eggs if you ain't got it. Don't go and expose yourself to the Rona at Walmart. Just use what you got, baby. After all, ghetto ain't never killed nobody. Ooh, how about changing up the game? Instead of using their little eyes to find the goodies you hide all over the place, how about using some scented beads? That's right. These Orbeez can be used just like eggs, but instead of having to search for it with your eyes, go ahead and blindfold the kids and have them search around the house using their nose. That's alright. It's gonna be different, but at least they're gonna have a story to tell. And who knows, it might be like This Is Us, and they're gonna have a weird family tradition to pass down. <laughs> Ooh, but if you bougie like a Target shopper, it's okay. You can still be ghetto. That's right, if you got yourself some M&M's, it's going to work perfectly. Because you don't got to boil it like you do the eggs and you don't got to paint them. They already come in that egg shape and they already have the color. That's right, just like regular Easter eggs, M&M's already come with the color. All you got to do is hide these bad boys around the house and have the kids search for them. And when they find them, they can eat that delicious chocolate goodness. One thing for sure though, in my house... My kids are going to miss out on Easter before I give them my M&M's. It ain't going to happen, baby. I don't care how much you cry. These bad boys are mine. Point of the story being, baby, 
If you ain't got no eggs, don't risk your life for them baby kids. Use what you got around the house. Life hacks, baby. Survive. That's the aim of the game during Easter quarantine. can't hear you mumbling underneath your breath. All I know is if our kids don't get no Easter bunny, you ain't getting no Easter body. Ooh, my mama told me not to marry you. She told me get a real man. But did I listen? No. Better get them eggs.